Hi, I'm Jamila. And I'm Black Steve Jobs. What the hell, Jamila? Where's your costume at? You were supposed to be Black Bill Gates. I forgot. Son of a bitch. Welcome to the Lunch Break, where each week we cover the top five stories that matter the most to you. So in honor of Halloween, this week's episode will focus on the best and worst costumes from the news. Theo? Who? Black Steve Jobs. In entertainment, the worst costume goes to Zoe Saldana as Nina Simone. The 34-year-old actress from movies such as Columbiana and Drumline was recently cast to play singer Nina Simone in an upcoming film. What? Are you f***ing serious? Yeah, dude. The controversy in the casting choice, aside from the fact that the two look nothing alike, comes from the fact that Nina Simone's own daughter, Lisa Simone Kelly, does not support the casting decision at all, stating, quote, My mother was raised at a time when she was told her nose was too wide, her skin was too dark. Appearance-wise, this is not the best choice. Shit, if Zoe Saldana could play Nina Simone, then I could definitely pull off Bernie Mac. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers! And my black ass will be starring in the lead role of Lena Horne in the upcoming biopic, Me So Horny. For more information about this story, you can check out the full article in the video description below. In politics, the award for the most poorly timed costume goes to Richard Murdoch as God's spokesman. After gaining an endorsement from Mitt Romney, Senate candidate Richard Murdoch made a public statement that although he believes that rape is a terrible crime, any pregnancy that results from it is a part of God's plan. I know you guys are just pandering to pro-lifers, but if you're not for abortion, shouldn't you be for Planned Parenthood and adequate financial assistance? If all rape victims band together, carry to full term, and left their babies on Richard Murdoch's doorstep, according to the Rape and Incest Network, that'd be about 3,204 babies a year. That's mad rape, yo. For more information on Richard Murdoch's comments, you can check out the link in the video description below. And in tech news, the laziest costume award goes to Apple Computers for their Samsung costume. The corporation took a cue right out of Samsung's playbook by releasing a new product which is basically an existing Apple product with a few minor alterations. Last week, they released a new product, the iPad Mini, which is basically a scaled down version of their existing product, the iPad. The new product boasts a smaller screen size, lighter frame, and you can get it at a price point starting at around 300 bucks. Or you can get it for the low ski like I did on eBay. Uh, Jamila, that's an iPod Touch. Yes, an iPad Mini Touch. iPad Mini Touch? That's, that's not a thing. What's the problem? It's got a smaller screen, light framework, Wi-Fi capabilities. What's the f***ing difference? No, but the, but the frame size in the, in the ski... I don't f***ing know anymore. Bravo, Apple computers! It's been barely a year since white Steve Jobs' death, and you've already resorted to cheap tactics and non-innovative products. We interrupt this regularly scheduled lunch break to bring you live coverage from Hurricane Sandy. Fucking hurricane! We now return to your regularly scheduled programming. And from the web, the award for best supervillain costume goes to Donald Trump for the evil philanthropist. <laughs> You're fired. Last week, Donald Trump made the announcement that he would offer $5 million to any charity that Obama wants as long as he releases his college and passport applications. Out of all the Obama fantasies I have, I think the hottest one is where he finally tells Donald Trump to go f himself. I think a better proposal would be if Donald Trump were to say, Hey Barack, show me your college records and I'll kill myself. Please show me your college records, Barack. Obama played it off the next night on The Tonight Show. To check out the full video, you can click in the link in the video description below. And lastly, in music, the best costume goes to Kendrick Lamar as the new face of hip-hop. Last week, the 25-year-old rapper released his highly anticipated new album, Good Kid, Mad City. The album's got a lot of good reviews, but it's really weird. All his songs are filled with, like, poignant messages and insightful lyrics. I don't get it. I'm gonna need you to dumb it down a little bit, Kendrick Lamar. I need an ignorant song that I can shake it to up in the club with my lady. Something that'll make her dance. What would make her dance? Bands. Bands. Bands will make her dance. Bands will make her dance. Bands will make her dance. <sighs> to check out a new track from the Kendrick Lamar album, you can visit a link in the description below. All right, that's it for this week. Be sure to stay tuned for future episodes of The Lunch Break. Have a happy Halloween. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your lunch break. Deuces.